sing. God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, and we'll begin reading at verse 17. And it says, And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. Amen. Jesus, amen, standing up in the synagogue and, and reading, reading from the prophet Isaiah, uh, and uh, letting everyone know that God the Father has anointed him to reach the brokenhearted, the poor, the captives, amen, and to set at liberty those who are in the, the bondage uh, to, to Satan and his, and his demonic forces. And as he read through this, amen, um, he got to a certain point, and the scripture tells us uh, that he uh, closed the book, amen, from which he was reading. He gave it to the minister, and then he sat down. And um, God wants us to know, amen, that we in the church, uh, and we generally, amen, have to know when to stop. Amen. We have to know when to sit down. Uh, preacher, amen, you, you are preaching a good message, amen, but somewhere along the way, just like in the book of Ezekiel, the anointing left the building, amen, you, you should have sat down already, amen. Uh, and sometimes the same thing happens with the choir. The song goes on and on and on. Uh, we need to know when to stop singing and close the hymnal book and sit down, amen. Uh, and even in our, in our daily react, daily interactions with one another, um, sometimes you need to know when you proved your point, and you need to just sit down. Amen. I hear the Holy Ghost talking to me. Amen. Um, we we have to know when to stop. Uh, it's an important part of living a successful life, because sometimes you can overstay your welcome. Sometimes you can uh, go beyond the anointing that was on your life for that particular moment in time and you keep on going and now you're operating in your own flesh. Amen. We have to know when to stop. And the way to discover or discern when to stop is to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, as the Spirit moves within you, whether you're preaching, whether you're singing, whether you're just interacting with another saint of God or with someone else, uh, you're having a conversation about a particular point. Uh, when the Spirit is operating in you, amen, there's a flow that's unmistakable. But the Holy Spirit will put a check in your spirit and say, okay, now, that's enough. You need to be quiet, amen. And sometimes you, we have to resist that urge to say one more thing, amen, because that one more thing can then lead to another thing, to another thing, and then you're off to the races, amen. So let us operate in the wisdom of God. Let us always walk hand in hand with the Holy Spirit. And let us know when we should start a thing, but more importantly, when we should end a thing. Because knowing when to stop doing something is just as much wisdom as knowing when to begin. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged. Amen. I just heard the Holy Spirit tell me to stop. Glory to God. Be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you. And his love never fails.